What's up guys? Carlos from Low Budget Collectors coming at you guys again with another Hot Toys figure review. As you can see, right in front of us today, I'm going to be reviewing the Avengers Endgame Black Widow. Uh, so I, this video is uh, supposed to be coming for a while now. Uh, we had some technical difficulties uh, last week. Um, I know we did. I did mention that we were supposed to be doing a, an unboxing for uh, my brother's uh, birthday gift. Uh, again, some technical difficulties. Like, like the name of the channel, low budget. We try to keep it low budget with the equipment we have, and sometimes it does, you know, turn around and bite us a little bit being so low budget. Uh, but besides that, um, I, you know, I, I was finally able to, uh, work around to getting this, uh, figure reviews for you guys. Uh, I know in the polling, uh, I had her up twice. Uh, fortunately she lost twice to John Wick and the, uh, Classic Predator. Also, if you guys want to check those reviews out, uh, please check them out on our, on our channel. Um, but yeah, um, this figure's not going to be super fancy as far as accessories, but... It's definitely got a look that it it nails, and that's basically uh, on-screen accuracy, you know? Scarlett Johansson, this figure embodies her fully, I think. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, there's not a whole lot to say besides that, so let me go ahead and uh, jump in real quick with the uh, accessories. Alright guys, so here's a closer look. At Black Widow in that nice sleek black leather costume that she's got and Hot Toys has decided to use a leather like material um, you'll see later in the uh, in the articulation portion we'll, we'll, I'll kind of uh, showcase what uh, what you're looking at as far as boundaries as far as how how much articulation you get so let's uh get a closer look at that face I would say right there that's it's, it's, the, it's a good angle but besides that you know it's a slightly different suit than we're used to but just slightly you know got the uh you know, boots down there. And I will say, without the stand, she still stands really good with these uh, boots. Her holsters. Some Glock 26s in there. Some Black Widow Nalgas. Black Widow, guys. All right. So over to the accessories. Uh, first off, sorry. All right. So with the accessories, uh, let me get started right here with what I've got on here. So she's got a pair of relaxing hands, as you can see right here. Great detail on the inside. Got the little time heist navigator, if you will. Good detail with the stitching. These holsters, by the way, are really good. Let's look at that right there. And then on the back, it's a smaller version of the batons that she uses. And then right over here, we've got a pair of gripping hands so these hands are here you know for gripping the batons that she's got I mean the thing I mean you can yeah not, I was about to say you can use it for trigger fingers but no the fingers are actually all molded together there's small gaps in there but for the most part they are molded together um, so yeah this is strictly grasping hand you got another one right there then you've got pair of fisted hands as we all know Black Widow's not shy about getting into a fist fight so 
these are a staple right here then we've got a pair of trigger finger hands you know for those glocks that she's got so yeah we've got a pair of those if you want to get some dual wielding action going uh, some pegs right here again hot toys is pretty good about giving some extras these are slightly smaller than usual and it gets a female character so you know a little she's a little smaller we got those uh then we got the batons so just like those you know the the handles that we had on the on her backpack uh you here you got the extended ones ready for some action these are for you know you know single-handed use then you've got them connected so i, I will um, to be honest i like that it did come with a uh, two separate ones, you know, ones that were separated right here, and then this one right here where it's already connected. Because to be honest, it would have been a little bit uh, annoying if you had to like peg it in every single time. But uh, this isn't bad. I, I like it. So yeah, you got this one right here. Um, so <laughs> yeah, that kind of wraps it up for the accessories. Uh, I'll throw this in real quick. Uh, the end game base, uh, the end game bases are all pretty similar as far as having this nice space looking uh, display or background, I guess, with the uh, like glossy A in there. It's 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 pretty cool. It's still cool. Um, simple, uh, gets but gets gets the uh, job done. But yeah, that, that's uh, basically it with uh, her accessories. Let me give you guys a closer look at Black Widow. Alright guys, um, so as you saw, very minimalistic as far as uh, the amount of accessories that she comes with. But uh, it's you know, not bad. You're going to get the job done, but uh, display her in uh, different poses. Um, but yeah, like I said, you can get her to stand without the base. So that's that's pretty good. Her having some type of like heel boot hybrid, um, yeah. Uh, there's not again. There's not much with her. You know, it's uh, I, there's not much that I can say. Uh, you know, with with Black Widow, it's uh, not a whole lot. Um, but again, her character I, I think doesn't need a whole lot. You know. Uh, maybe, you know, they could have maybe thrown in some effects for their, um, uh, I forgot what they're called. It, it, it's got an actual name. It's for, you know, her wrist gauntlet thing to shoot some energy out. Uh, in the movie, I know she uses it when, you know, spoiler alert real quick. In that, in a, you know, infamous scene with uh, Hawkeye when they're in uh, Voromir, you know, trying to retrieve the soul stone. And she uses it there, so I, I I I would say that's the only thing they missed out on. They could have probably included some type of energy effect for that. That would have been cool, um, you know. They, especially since there is you know a Hawkeye figure out there, you can recreate that that scene if you wanted. Um, but I I would say ultimately this Black Widow figure, you're gonna add her to your collection to complete the Avengers. Uh, I, she doesn't. She's not gonna be doing a whole lot, but uh, there's still some some uh, poses you can get out of her. So uh, real quick, guys, I'm gonna showcase uh, her articulation real quick, just to get that out of the way. Um, so with the head, she's got some real good pivot in there. She can look up. Pretty good amount. She can look down all the way, basically. And what I will say is, yes, she does have. If you, you know, if you're able to feel right here, she does have um, uh, what feels like to be um, one of those bodies that's covered in the material to make it seem like you know actual skin. So she's got one of those going on, and it's covering that neck joint. So she, I'm pretty sure that means, yeah, so if I even wanted to get more 
head tilt? You can. So that's that's pretty good to be honest. Um, rotation, basically wherever you'd like. Like I said, it's really good articulation in the head right here. Um, as far as the shoulders are concerned, uh, you might have to move uh, this little backpack she's got in the back to hold uh, her batons. You might want to move the straps a little bit over there. She's got some little shoulder pieces right here. You might want to move them over it just so it doesn't get caught. So yeah, but if you do that, she gets almost 90. She can go more and the suit will allow her to, but um, just because she's a smaller figure and the joints are obviously smaller, it, it can't really hold the weight or the tension so it kind of just springs back down a little bit which is unfortunate uh, so you got that I can't tell if you if it got if it's got a butterfly joint in there or not it is shifting as you can tell um, as far as Ford not much at all that's basically it um, it's hard it's hard to tell but right yeah right there is bunching up a lot so you're gonna have to be careful with that uh, back a good amount actually I don't see a whole lot of bunching up right here that's not bad um, elbow let's see elbow way past 90 that's pretty good uh, does she have it? she's got a looks like not a bicep swivel but an el at the elbow so not bad and then just the same thing with Hot Toys is wrist just the ball joint um, and on a hinge so you can rot that, rotate that to whichever direction you'd like uh, so pretty simple as far as the waist goes um, we've got actually pretty decent rotation right there um, I don't want to push it too much though because the suit is very skin tight on her so I don't want to run risking it oh sorry I don't want to risk ripping it as far as ab crunch I want to say pretty good uh, when you are squeezing though to get it to move you can feel the, the the body again it's very squishy so it's kind of cool to use that um, but yeah so it, it really good ab crunch there back real good um yeah that's not bad so now on to her legs and a little disappointing here as you can see with that right here that's about it mm, can't really get them out that far but again it's because of the the suit you know you're either gonna get a very accurate suit with a uh, minimal articulation or you're gonna get a bad suit with all tons of articulation so it, it's give and take you know not bad you know now this is the part I'm a little disappointed with to be honest is her bring her leg up that's basically it I as you can tell I could bring it up more but because of that because of that butt it stops stops it from going up even farther it really catches on right here and it gets real tight and you can't move because of the suit and because of the material of the actual body of the figure so it's a little unfortunate uh, again there's always give and take with some of these Hot Toys figures and this is gonna be one of them um, now as far as the knee let's take a look pretty good Past 90 for sure. Almost kick her own butt. So that's good. And does it, this very minimal amount of uh, bunching right here. Nothing in the front really. Didn't doesn't I didn't really catch any of the material in the joint, so that's good. I like that. Um, now for the ankle. Let's see. Yeah, there's uh, uh, no movement. No movement in the ankle, guys. 
The boot is a full boot. Uh, goes all the way up and down. It's solid. Again, you're going to get a good look. But no articulation. Um, but that that's pretty much it as far as her articulation. As you can see, not a whole lot. So with her, it's basically going to be the look. Um, You're going to have a very screen accurate suit. So that that is good though. You know, at least it's going to look 100% like her counterpart in the movie. Um, but let me uh, go ahead and show you guys uh, Black Widow with some of the accessories. There we go. There's one pose that I, that I like. Looks pretty good. Dynamic. I'm liking that right there. There's another one with the uh, full staff. Not bad. Pretty cool. Real quick, guys. This is something I forgot to mention about the accessories with the pistol. Uh, I didn't really go into much in-depth on them. But what I do have to say is that the attention to detail on this Glock 26 is phenomenal. Um, just like with the John Wick one. Uh, you've got the magazine right here with the bullet in there. You've got, you know, the little uh, base plate that comes on most Glock 26 magazines. But what uh, I like about this is the fact that there's a little spring on the slide. Um, so it goes back. That, that's, that's really cool. <laughs> All right. Got her in a little pose right here with uh, her Glock 26 pistols. Um, looking pretty good, to be honest. I'm liking it. And I like that she can reach uh, with the pistols in her hand even into the holster. A lot of times that's difficult to do with figures, but I like that she can get that done. Um, so yeah, looking pretty good. And uh, so yeah, there we go, guys. Uh, pretty quick review, I think. Um, but yeah, yeah, guys, so that's going to... Basically do it for Black Widow. Um, not much that she comes with like you just saw. Um, but you can, you can get her in some good poses. And get her on the shelf, you know. With the rest of your Avengers figures. Um, I'm, I'm happy, you know. I, I would, you know, I would, uh, I'd be wrong if I was saying that I was disappointed. Because I'm not. I really am not. I, I'm not. I don't expect too much from my Black Widow figure. I, I just, you know, I need her to be there to, you know fill in the role of Black Widow, and she does, perfectly, um, but yeah, besides that, uh, I would definitely recommend it, you know, don't be afraid to reach out to the, you know, basically, mine and my brother's supplier, you know, we get all of our figures from super bad action figures, and don't feel, you know, don't be afraid to hit them up, um, their, uh, Instagram link is going to be in our description down below, Go ahead and check it out. See what figures they've got. Um, go ahead and actually go to Frankenstein's if you guys actually want to see what they have uh, in stock besides pre-orders. Because most of the times they have a lot of pre-orders on their um, actual uh, Instagram. Which is not a bad thing because again, pre-orders is where it's at in my belief. You know, If you're going to get a figure, get it, get that pre-order in because you don't want to miss out on getting the best deal you can. Um, but yeah, check them out. Uh, check us out on Instagram. Link in the description down below. So that way you guys can get some updates on you know future reviews and unboxings. Um, just real quick, guys, before I sign off, I uh, wanted to give a quick shout out to one of my buddies. He's uh, you know started up his uh, own little business, and uh, definitely go check him out uh, if you like having engraved uh, cups, skateboards, uh, mugs, you know anything that's engraved. Um, we're gonna have the the link to his uh, Instagram page down below in the description box. Uh, just check them out, uh, LA Rotary. Make sure you guys check them out. Uh, we're, I'm in, actually in the process right now to try to figure out if we, we can create a logo for ourselves here at Low Budget Collectors and uh, possibly work something out with them, get, get, some, uh, get some cups and mugs with uh, an engraving on there. Uh, but yeah, definitely check them out. I want to give them a quick shout out. Um, but yeah, so that's going to wrap it up today, guys. Uh, again, check out our links down below. In the description box for super bad action figures for your hot toys needs our instagram for any updates and 
I'll see you guys later.